Hello there and welcome to another video scripted by CWYT. And in this video, I'm going to talk about how Omni Knight should be played during the mid and the late game. Omni Knight can be skilled and itemized for two general builds. Radiance, which allows him to split push and farm fast while also doing lots of damage during teamfights, or Guardian Greaves, which makes him a really strong teamfighter and enables his team to take objectives easier with less risk. Your main goals as Omni Knight depend on which build you followed. Both builds are great, but CWIT has personally come to the conclusion that the Guardian Greaves and Utility Items build has a higher win rate than the Radiance one. I believe this is because as an offlaner, you don't want to take up lots of space and lots of time just to come online as your other cores will generally suffer from this. Also Greaves is not just a great item overall, it also fits Omni Knight's nature amazingly well. I will cover both but I don't want to spend too much time on the Radiance build as it does seem unreliable and generally contradicts the nature of the hero. Omni Knight is a hero that naturally wants to stay behind and save his teammates. Ideally, you want to be the last person to die in a teamfight, as if you're alive, you can always be turning the fight around. This is why the Radiance build is not so reliable. If you go for it, it means that you have to be in the front lines just to make use of it and get value. If you stay behind, you have no items to help your team with, only your spells. If you stay in the front lines, you can get focused and die before you can even cast anything, which is not what you want to happen on this hero. So for the Guardian Greaves and Utility items, during teamfights you want to stay behind and be rescuing your calls, at the beginning of the fight at least. If circumstances allow it, you can play aggressive and go in to deal damage and slow down the enemies with your degen aura. I personally like to buy Blink Dagger after Greaves as it enhances both my offensive and defensive capabilities, so I can hide and blink in to save my teammates without allowing the enemy to focus me, or I can blink in and slow down enemies and help secure kills. Omni Knight is certainly a hero that you can split push with pretty efficiently. The question is however, should you be doing it? And the answer is yes, but it does depend on the circumstances. If the enemies are pushing your base, you can try and kill their waves on the respective lane or push another lane by yourself. Split pushing is also good when you can just repel yourself and teleport out, implying that the enemy doesn't of course have any BKB piercing spells like Bane's ult or Batrider's ult. Ideally, you don't want to spend too much time on split pushing as Omni Knight is very strong while going together with his team and capturing objectives. Regarding ganking, Omni Knight is probably one of the worst heroes in the game at doing this at just about all stages of the game. That being said, he can do a decent job at this if the enemy has no escape mechanisms as his degen aura is good enough to buy time for your team to catch up to you and your target to help secure the kill. This can be combined with body blocking for maximum effectiveness. With objectives being Omni Knight's strongest point, let's talk about rushing, pushing and defending high ground. The constant in all of these scenarios is, if everyone is alive, you want to stay back and safe. If there is a teamfight coming, you want to make sure the enemy won't focus you and you can save your teammates if anything happens. So the essence here is positioning. You must position yourself far away from the enemy so that they can't focus you, but you need to be close enough to your teammates to save them in case anything goes bad. And this comes down mostly to experience. During the Roshan fights, you want to avoid sitting in the heart of the pit and sit around the outskirts. Or if defending high ground, you want to generally be sitting in and around or sometimes even behind your buildings. In summary, Omni Knight is a straightforward hero and there aren't many things that he's really really good at, but the things that he is good at are easy to master and understand. That being said, the most important thing when playing Omni Knight is to learn when to stay in your lane during the laning stage and when to TP and save your teammates or secure some kills. From my experience, even if it seems that sometimes doing such things like TPing to save a teammate might make you lose out in terms of farm and XP in the moment, they will play a major role in catapulting your team with momentum into the mid game. They typically work out in the long run. I personally believe that the utility item build and talent build is the most reliable and makes use of the hero's nature and has the highest win rate, at least in the higher ranking games. This guide and course has been scripted by CWYT. We do thank you for watching encourage you to drop a comment down below and hope to see you in future courses.